Alright, what is up everybody? Welcome to 2021 Duels Winter Finals Round 4. We've got Mishi vs. QQ lined up here, ready to go. And for Mishi vs. QQ, Mishi, uh, the number 4 seed, so stepping into the tournament right here, right now. We're going to start things off with 3C and then head into 4D, 3C being Cornucopia and Always Different. Cornucopia, where you start with only uh, two units in your deck, and then they start growing every game. And then we're going to have Famine versus Limited Tears, uh, which Famine, everything shrinks each game. Uh, so really fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to track the always different. I'm going to assume that they did that right. Chat kind of makes sure with me. Um... But we will track the limited tiers when we get to that. So yeah, Cornucopia is always different. Let's hop into it. Game number one here. <laughs> okay. The bottom, QQ. And in the top right, Mishi. Squirrel Toad versus Lizard Toad. What's the chat think? Feel like Lizard Toad, right? Pretty short, um, pretty short rush distance. Okay, gentleman said he's already checked these replays and no deck slip ups, which is nice. I will track the limited tiers just for the uh, just for the sake of the show, though. It's kind of nice to have that information on the screen. All right, Squirrel Toad versus Lizard Toad. Neither side opting for a pre eight farm. Maybe we'll see a seven farm Warren. No. Right up to eight farms, pretty surprising. Since this map is just so dang small, kinda asking for it here. The chat seems uh seems pretty confident in the squirrel toad versus the lizard toad, okay. Makes sense, I guess. The lizards do have to bob and weave around the toads a little bit more, which they can take some extra squirrel fire. But at the same time, in the hands of somebody like Mishi, you know, really, really good lizard control, they could just do something like spam lizards, you know, bait the uh, toads to not have optimal hits and then just dive on the squirrels. We'll see, though. I, I really like toads in general. I, I don't know if it's a popular opinion in the scene, but I always feel like uh, toads, when they're relevant, really add a lot of... Uh, outplay micro capability I mean I, I don't recall exactly what game it is but I, I remember back in the day I would see Bishi all the time for like pure lizards especially in metas where the toads were just like hard counter a lizard you know into sentence full stop and you'd see Mishi just do some crazy gamer stuff and, and micros lizards in such a way where the toads barely got anything done. You're like, man, anybody else but Miji would have lost their whole army there. So let's see, lots of lots of toads coming out from QQ. I don't know. I I, th I kind of agree with you guys at the moment. I, QQ's deck or comp is looking powerful right now, but Mishi does have the mobility here with the lizards, kind of feigning a uh, a base trade, and no more feigning. Mishi's just gonna go for it. It's going to put QQ in a difficult decision. Does he just uh, go for it or does he go home? I think it's 12 lizards to kill a, a mill, but I guess the mill HP has changed since then. What, he's got 10, 10 lizards here right now. QQ did find Mishi's uh, base race mill, but I don't think he's going to get home in time. It's so close. Oh my god, there it is, Mishi. I think 10 lizards came in at the beginning there. A QQ just a little bit out of position, distracted. Uh, killing Mishi, uh, Mishi's uh, base race mill, pretty much. Short and sweet game. Alright, let's keep it going. Mishi vs. QQ, game number two. In the left-hand side, Mishi, and over on the right, QQ. Again, cumulative ban, or I'm sorry, uh, always different. So they can't use any units they both just used, and that all checks out. Plus, we have a little bit uh, more size on our deck now. Don't take that out of context. 
But Cam Falcon, again, really solid comp for Mishi. Uh, Lizbor plus some defense from QQ. Could also make it happen, but I believe more in the Squirrel Falcon Cam. I mean, four Falcons can deal with the boar pretty easily. The cam does just fine against lizards. Five farm double out from QQ. Mishi gonna spot it. But I, I think even if Mishi... Re, I mean, this lizard gets here in time, right? Kill pig? Maybe if there's a corner pig. I think this uh, terrain right here protecting this corner pig is really saving uh, Mishi here. So yeah, QQ not gonna go for it. Uh, as I say that... He's moving out with two. Oh, look at this. Michi's so big brain. This mine is going to make all the difference in the world. Smart by QQ. Just get out of there. Very smart. Not sure if he was aware of the mine. But either way, though, it's looking pretty risky. Okay. Map pretty even for both sides. Actually, really damn even. Look at this map. It looks like a custom map almost. Both players kind of have a natural. There's like these three mills in the center you can fight over. Uh, then it's like there's a six o'clock and a twelve o'clock you can go grab. Bit of a wonky map. I don't think we're going to see a macro game. Probably going to be a two base game. This is really establishing those third bases is going to be tough here. Unless you took one of the, the 6 o'clock or 12 o'clock. I mean, if somebody gets, like, any of these mills in the middle here, they pretty much win. They, they've got so much map control. And maybe we'll see QQ try to, like, creep up with some turrets with those. But I'm generally thinking we're going to see a 1-2 to two base game here. QQ hiding that boar. Let's see if Mishi can spot it. Man, Mishi's such a... Oh, no! Oh! Oh, there it is. Okay. Great job from Mishi. Does see exactly what's going on. Good scout from QQ as well. Uh, so, does Mishi build falcons? Or is he just going to try to go before the boar is here? I mean, four cam push is really strong. I love this too. Eat those mines with the cams. Yeah, that's going to be a nice window for Mishi. He's just going to wait for this last cam. He's going to try to just win the game before the boar is on the field. And it's so rough to wait for this last cam. All right, Mishi's moving forward. Wants to uh, contest the Warren over here. Try to drag QQ out of his defense for the big fight. Uh, I don't know, this is getting a little janky. This turret on the high ground needs to die. It's going to put out so much damage this fight. But the cam's really tanking on the front here. Mishi will get on top of that turret. And now this warrant is exposed. And this might be it for QQ. He really needed that boar. And now he's just going to take so much big damage. Uh, we're probably going to see a tap here. Or a hop into game number three. Mishi 2-0 in the series. Really good uh, decision making there for Mishi to wait till he had just enough. Good angle to attack in from all around. Great play from Mishi to be expected. One of the uh, the goats of Tooth and Tail. All right, here we go. Game number three. Now we have full deck uh, units here. Full six. Over on the right, we've got QQ up top. Mishi. All right, Mishi using this lizard ferret. <clears throat> Wolf balloon turret kind of style. We saw him do very nice with this comp against Tatanka in the uh, latest Premier League Grand, Grand Finals. He did have snakes in that army, though. But different meta. Meanwhile, QQ with a pretty solid deck, to be honest. I mean, if you're kind of watching this, you know, casual tooth and tail gamer, want, want to hop on the, the, the ranked every now and then, play some matches... I think QQ's deck looks looks pretty good to steal. You can play around with the Squirrel Toad, I think, a bit. You know, Squirrel Lizard, Lizard Toad, Squirrel Mole. You can have some fun there. Maybe even one Tier 1 plus, like, an MG. Hey, Doug Sluggins. 
Thanks for the raid. How's it going? You uh, caught us casting some very crazy tournament matches uh, for this 2021 Duels Winter Finals. We're in round four right now. Mishi up against QQ, AK2, Meows. Um, as far as the maps and variants go, though, this one is not as crazy as it could be. So we're into a relatively even uh, looking game of Tooth and Tail. Uh, relatively standard. So we're going to have to let this one breathe for a little bit longer. I like Mishi's spawn better by a lot, honestly. This is a little bit rough for QQ. I'm curious if QQ is going to decide to take this mill as a natural or go over here. Um, going over here would be a lot safer, but if he does not start jockeying for position here in the center, uh, it could be very bad, especially because Mishi's uh, ferret defense style deck is really fantastic for this map gen. Can, can Gristmill creep all the way to QQ's main. Mishi feeling like he's under a little bit of pressure here, building some turrets. He sees QQ is just railing Squirrel Toad. How hard does Q want to commit to this, though? Already down two games in this series. Yeah, just going to take it home for now. I do agree with this from QQ. I think he needs to put his foot down on this mill. You can't just let Mishi get all of this real estate for free. Um, and yeah, uh, it's going to be hard if Mishi gets his ferret balloon set up. I mean, Camp Falcon's really nice to just punch your way through most of your problems in Tooth and Tail. But let's see. I mean, Mishi's really smart with his decision making on uh, when to place defensive structures, when to creep them forward. Actually, gonna open double skunks here. Really defensive from Mishi. I'm kind of surprised he's so afraid. I'm not sure what he's seen from QQ to make him feel that afraid. He does see the four farms coming in now. Um, so I'd like to see him maybe sell that balloon. I, I think it's a bit unnecessary. Sells the turret, at least. It is nice to have that little bit of extra vision from the balloon. And Mishi's going to get his own economy going, so... Would be fun to see QQ start bringing it back here. Keep in mind, we will switch map and variant after this game regardless. Uh, here we go. QQ is going to commit. Not the best toe connections. Good job on from Mishi hiding the lizards off the side. Mishi's going to clean this up just fine. Uh, that's a little bit rough for QQ there. It did take a big loss. That's a slight farm lead, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Mishi can smell the weakness and wants to push in for some counter damage, but actually just going to go home for now. Really secure this uh, second base economy. That balloon really helped a lot in that fight. Uh, nice decision there from Mishi to keep it. I probably would have sold it. Here comes that creep forward. QQ is going to try to put his foot down before these turrets happen. But so many skunks against a very heavy tier 1 army. Uh, makes this pretty rough for QQ. And I feel like this army's just going to get obliterated again. QQ's got to try though. I don't blame him here. And does he tap? Or maybe tapping's a little... A little emotional at this point. QQ's not super dead, but that's another uh, really bad loss that he's taken against Mishi, so. Now Mishi's uh, feathering in these ferrets, and that's going to be the nail in the coffin for QQ. Once these ferrets get out, Mishi set up the defenses, can very easily start shelling uh, the base of QQ. And yeah, the Squirrel Toad. It's really not the right units to deal with this. I think QQ may be overcommitted to being aggressive this game. I don't know how, but Mishi like really knew that QQ was, was going to go ham. And just kind of had the right defenses up at the right time. Took some really good engagements. Now he's got all these skunks here to poke and prod. Bait QQ out. I mean, so much damage just happening for free. Mishi's just going to get all these skunks healed back up easy peasy. And here come the ferrets. So this is where 
Mishi ends QQ's whole career with this ferret. This is a very important match. I don't blame QQ for hanging on. But I think maybe Mishi's got it from here. Let's see. This is going to be the last two raw from QQ. And this attack is not going to go well at all. But he's got to try. And I think now he taps. No, man. He's going to stay till the very end. Does he know about... Okay, he doesn't really... He doesn't know that Mishi's fully saturated on second base. So maybe that's one thing that made him stick in. He's like, ah, oh, maybe Mishi's economy's not that great. But yeah, after he saw how much Mishi had there, he went ahead and tapped. So Mishi on match point. Again, to be expected. QQ, a phenomenal player as well. But Mishi's got the championship belts to prove it here. So game number four, we are going to change things up here. Uh, now it will be Famine and Limited Tears. Okay, so we're going to have a fun... If this is the last match of the stream, it's going to be fun regardless. Because Famine, uh, they both start off with Pigeon, Wolf, Fox, Wire, Mine. And then we're going to have Limited Tier as well. Um, which won't matter for the first game. So, let's get into it. Let's see if QQ... Hey, if there's ever a spot to come back and win this... Uh, this is a very, very weird uh, map. You know, Mishi's not going to be able to just split, play a straight-up game of Tooth and Tail. So, good chance for QQ to make it happen here on left-hand side. QQ on the right, Mishi. Very important to note that they actually got the um, map settings right for this. We've we've had a couple flubs on that um, by the players. I think I even messed that up in a game, but it's a uh, it's an important fact that you, you're supposed to set deck size of five uh, I'm sorry mills is scarce and campfires and none which is really a big deal here because only one mill <laughs> allowed for both sides for an expansion and keep in mind none of your units can actually hit the mill so either player has the opportunity right now to just grab both mills we see Mishi already grabbing that first one now this will keep this will slow down your tier three. So if Mishi invests 120 bucks in grabbing both these mills, uh, then QQ could get a fox out that much faster, which is the play he's gonna go for. Even selling off some farms here, really trying to hide this fox. I don't think it's really necessary. I mean, it's like, what are you gonna go for? You know, Mishi did see that uh, some farms got sold off. So Mishi's really far behind in the fox department at the moment. QQ could use this faster fox to just straight up win the game. I'm glad to actually see this happen because it's a great way to punish somebody for taking these uh, mills early on. <clears throat> so maybe some good mine placement. Oh, I think, oh, actually what's really smart about where QQ put his fox warren is it's going to be a little bit harder for the mines to get out to just kind of chump this fox right when it spawns. That's another thing to consider. Some mines coming up from Mishi. Good job on the uh, Warren production there from QQ. The fox is only blocked for a couple seconds. Yeah, lots of defense coming up, but all QQ has to do is wiggle his way into the right spot. He gets up on all those pigs. That's it. That's game. Yeah, and I think Mishi's aware of that. Yeah, I mean, if you're QQ, you bring the fox out, come in this way, and you got it. But let's see how QQ will path. Obviously, it's easy for us to say that. We know where all the mines are. And Mishi's fox is miles behind. QQ's even got some pigeons here to help deal with these mines. This could be huge. Mishi needs some panic mines here. Okay, he's building panic wire. But with the pigeons... Oh no, I, this might be it. One pig. Two pig. Ugh, red pig. Oh no! Oh my god, I can't believe the fox died. He had the pigeons healing it and everything. 
The two mines went off, plus a little bit of barbed wire damage. QQ could have just won the game right there. But he was a little bit, uh, a little bit too gung-ho with his fox. That's tough. It's hard to even call that a mistake from QQ, but... I mean, maybe you can anticipate there would be mines there, but that's a pretty big ask. It's just unfortunate. And it's also good defensive placement from Mishi. And now the turns have tabled. Mishi has the fox. Mishi's going to be hunting for the bacon, trying to dodge mines. How many pigs did QQ kill? I think three? So we got something done with this fox. And Mishi hasn't been able to return the favor. And QQ does have another fox out, so I think this is still anybody's game. But, yeah, as the gentleman points out in the chat, you know, the fact that Mishi got both these mills early, and then QQ was like, fine, I'll get the, the quick fox. And he did some damage with that quick fox, but not enough to justify not having any more mills. So Mishi can just chill if he wants to, to be a jerk about it. He doesn't have to really do much else this game besides start trying to outlast QQ. Uh, I mean, he's still got to do stuff that's a bit excessive to say, like, but he's mostly got to worry about putting up extra wire, extra mines, you know, stuff like that. QQ doesn't have to dismantle... Or, I'm sorry, Mishi doesn't have to dismantle QQ. QQ will eventually starve out of this game. Lots and lots of mines here from QQ. He's placing so many mines, he's limiting where Mishi could actually have a mine. Which is kind of hilarious. Well, is he gonna dive on the enemy Kasha? Let's see. Oh, that's a dead fox. Oh, but, okay, there it is. I was like, where's the follow-up shot? Oh my god, QQ! He can win! Go! Guns are blazing! Double fox, this should be it. I mean, Mishi is going to spawn a fox, but it's just going to die right when it spawns. Okay. Let's see what Mishi's cooking up. Does have a lot of food. But how's he going to sneak some pigs in? Uh, you got to appreciate the tenacity for Mishi here. Okay. All right, we're, all right, Mishi's about to build his farm. I think he's delaying building the farm for as long as possible because he realizes he's probably never going to get money again. Where is Mishi's commander right now? Where is Hopper? I lost track. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Two, one, there it is. Okay. So... The pig gets built. Now what are we going for? More foxes by Mishi? Oh, wait. Oh, this could be so cheesy. Mishi just waits, right? Mishi doesn't build anything. He constantly loses the one pig. He starves down to one second. He rebuilds a pig. Eventually, QQ's last couple farms are going to mine out. Checkmate, Mishi. Are you serious? And QQ realizes that. And Mishi just wins the game. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Okay, Mishi taking the set 4-0. So everybody who seated in places 1 through 4 has advanced. And that is it for the live matches today. We're going to do a very, very short drawing real quick. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.